Hi everyone, welcome back to the studio. If you're new here, I am Tammy at Tam's Creative Corner. And today I'm going to get out those paints that Arteza sent me that I did in last week's video with my feather string pole. It worked amazing. It's their new acrylic pour paints. So the idea is you don't have to mix anything or come up with some crazy recipe. You just pour your paints and make your magic. So it worked amazing in my feathers and I'll link that above in case you haven't seen that one yet. But I wanted to try it in a Dutch pour next because I have a feeling it's not gonna sell up like a lot of people like. And in some cases, I don't really care about all those cells. But I just wanna see what it does before I start mixing and matching and playing with the recipe. And then I'm gonna give it some glitter and sparkle because you know, that's what I do. <laughs> and then I'm going to do a clear coat of resin over the top. So if you're ready, you wanna give this a try with me, let's get started. So here we have a birch cradle board, it's eight by eight and I've sealed it with wood sealer, I've taped off the back, and I've painted some white on it. Now I'm just setting it up on some cups and getting ready to pour my paint. Make sure your board is level so it doesn't all run off the sides. And these are the colors that I've picked to use out of that set of Arteza acrylic paint pouring paints. So I am just going to use nothing but the paints that came in the set, no additives or anything. And I'm using the white as my base. And I'm also using this amazing scraper tool that came with my Lowly Vefi craft mat. If you don't have one of these, I'm telling you, they're so cool. Everything peels right off of them. And I'll also link a coupon code below for this mat in case you're interested. So I get my surface all covered up with that white. And then I'm just going in and kind of winging it with my colors. There's so many color choices in this set, so just have fun and experiment and see what you can get. You can always paint over if you don't like your results. And now taking that same acrylic white paint that came out of the set, I just surround my colors and drizzle a little over the top to see if we can get that Dutch pour result. Now using my mini hair dryer, I'm just trying to move the paints they're definitely thicker than what I usually mix in my own recipe. And I'm also trying to torch it just to see if that will bring out any cells. And I'll show you a close up in a minute. I think I got maybe two little baby cells and nothing else. So if you want cells, you might have to modify the white in this set. But otherwise, you can come up with some still pretty cool results even just using the paints that come in the set. You can see that I keep adding paint and blowing it out with my straw until I get something that I think might look good after I glitter it and resin it. And here's a close up of it before it dries. There's a couple little tiny baby cells there, but I always look ahead at these pieces because I know I'm going to bedazzle them with some glitter and resin them, which just makes a world of difference. I'm adding my glitter glue now that it's dry and then I'm going to move on to mixing up some art resin to give this a nice clear coat and just watch how it transforms this piece. After I spread my resin out, I just heat it up with the torch and that brings all of those air bubbles to the surface allowing them to pop and then I will cover it up and let it cure. I think it turned out so pretty. I love the little bit of sparkle and the resin just made all of those colors pop and it was so easy because I didn't have to mix any paint. So I'm really loving this paint set and I'm going to play with it and experiment more in the future. If you guys like these videos, I sure appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. 
Okay, and let me know what you think about this piece and this paint below in the comments. And happy creating, everyone. Have a great day.